What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we got a rainy day here in Kentucky. Look at this. Y'all can't y'all can't even tell it's raining. It's raining, I, I swear. But it's been nasty out there, so I'm just in the bait shop, just messing around really. I do have one order I need to make. I haven't even checked it yet. I don't even know what it is. Yeah, I got an order for two different packs of crappie darts, one in chameleon chartreurs and the other mud minnow. So we'll have to make that today. But really, I've just been in here messing around, making baits for personal use. Like here, I've been working on my Ned. This one that, that chartreurse turned out to be like a banana color, but hey. Basically, I go through and I take all of the leftover plastic that I have from doing orders and stuff. And I either make a video for my Instagram or TikTok or whatever, doing a remelt and then giving them away. Or if I have a lot, I'll actually make baits for like me to use. Or just to have laying around just in case I need to make a dangle kit or something. But yeah, I'm working on my Ned box. So far, I have a Kelly Bug box. And also, I have like a crawl. I don't have a name for it yet. It's not even on the website. Three and a half inch little crawl. Perfect for like jig trailers and stuff like that those should be coming to kelly baits pretty soon i went to walmart earlier and you know i always go and look at the fishing bait and i picked up a few things picked up this little crankbait little chartreuse silver action don't sleep on the ozark trail crankbaits now two dollars for a crankbait you can't beat it and like it's gonna work just like the other ones then i got this one this is like the more expensive ozark trail like this one's like two bucks and I think this one's like four or five. This one actually has, y'all can see it has the laser shark hooks on it. So that actually has some like really good hooks. But two and a half inch square bill. Told myself I'm gonna throw a lot more crankbaits. So I've been trying to just stack up on them, different colors and stuff, different weights, different depths and all that. But the one bait I told myself, JT, you are going to throw this a lot and you're going to catch a lot of fish on it is the OG spinner bait. So I picked these up. These are Pine Magic Booyah bait. Just a three pack. I think these are like eight bucks. And this one, it has it has it on the back. I think that's the crawl, the fire bug, and then that white shad. And today we're actually going to be making trailers for these out of the Kelly Bait Shorty Swimmer. Literally the perfect trailer for spinner baits, chatter baits, swim jigs, anything. These things are absolutely perfect trailers. I mean, they don't get no better than that. So that's one thing we got to do. I'm going to try to like match up the colors with the spinner baits I got today. So we'll do like a real natural looking color, maybe a chartreuse and then a white one. But yeah, we're just in the bait shop making baits today. Got a couple things to do. Got to fulfill that one order. And then also do a couple personal things for the trailer. So yeah, it should be just a nice, fun, relaxing day. Working in the shop, making some baits. So y'all just stick back, stay tuned. And let's get into it. And for these, they get a little bit of hardener in them. Just to stiffen them up a little bit. For that small of a cup, I usually start on about three minutes and then check it. One thing you learn really quick making this stuff is this plastic can go from not ready to burnt extremely quick. So you always gotta pay attention and just check it. I always shoot for a lower time because you can always add more time. I'm about to turn my fan on. I need y'all to let me know, uh, do I need a new one or not? Actually, it ain't, it ain't sounding too bad today. Yeah. She got a little funk in her, a little funk in her. I promise it will stop here in a second. It's got to get warmed up a little bit. <laughs> Always like to run the fan though. So that way the little bit of fumes that are coming off of this plastic, I'm not just straight inhaling, like straight from the cup. It's definitely not good for you. I know a lot of dudes wear masks and stuff. That's why I like to run the fan, even though it might be extremely loud and obnoxious. So this one, we're gonna do the chartreuse. So this is the two inch crappie slayer mode from Epic Bait Modes. The little tails for the crappie darts. Now, we'll go ahead, we'll do the chameleon first. I had a touch of this hardener. Boom, Charger's tail. So yeah, now I'm gonna sit here and do this tedious task. And boom, there we go, there's the last one. Now carefully, set the top on, lift it up, make it tight. Throw a clamp on. Boom. Chameleon. I 
do it very dangerously and just kind of tap some in. Pretty much just eyeball it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Chameleon is literally, I say it a lot, but chameleon really is my favorite color. It's just so dope. The way it changes colors like a chameleon. And the color it is, that purple, pinkish, also brownish. And then when you put it in the water, it's almost like an orangish color. It's bro. It's so sick and it catches fish. I caught a lot of fish on this exact color. Fish absolutely love it. Alright, so here we go. Boom. Chameleon starts first. Oh yeah. There we go. Perfect run. Good looking bait. I mean, one of my favorites. Chartreuse plus that chameleon, there's no bait in it. Now that they're done, come over here, angle them up on the pegboard, let them sit, let them cure pretty much overnight, and then tomorrow we'll throw them in a package and get them shipped out to them. All right guys, so now we gotta do a mud minnow in the crappie darks. And mud minnow is the only dual injection color that we have on Kelly Bates for now. What does that mean? That means we gotta do two cups of plastic at the same time and inject two different colors at the same time. So we're throwing both these in the microwave. It's harder to do two cups when you're doing like a full cup of plastic, but these little half cups, they should heat up pretty evenly. Throw them in go for about four minutes. So while that's warming up, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some salt in this chameleon since I'm making eggs with it. And since I've already done the darts for this order and I know they're good to go. Not a lot, but I do like some sort of salt in my nids. Gives them a little bit more weight. And that salt cools this plastic down really quick. And once we get this other thing of crappie darts done, we'll go ahead and make those nids. Like I said, we're just making base today, baby. We got orders to make, we got personal stuff to do. Gearing up for fishing season, yes sir. I cannot wait, I cannot wait till it warms up and we can actually do some dangling. Y'all let me know, do y'all wanna see more videos like this, more bait making videos? Like this is like my everyday life. Like I come in here, this is where I work. Like I come in here, I make baits, I make videos for all channels. I edit, I do everything. So if y'all just want me to start picking up the camera and just recording it and making these daily bait maker vlog things, Probably not daily. Yeah, don't hold me to that. But every once in a while, post a bait maker's vlog. Just making baits, chilling out, doing whatever. Y'all let me know by hitting that like button. Like I said, it's literally just what I do. And I just start bringing y'all along. Also, I'm thinking I'm um, working on merch for not just Kelly Baits, but also JC Reacts. So I can do videos on that too. Like I bought a Cricut and everything. And like I'm trying to do my own. Me making it and shipping it out and everything. So far, I've just gotten like test samples for like me and family and friends and stuff. Trying to figure out the quality and like different vinyls and different iron-ons and all that with the Cricut. Because I don't want to put out, you know, just shitty stuff. I want to put out actual decent merch that people are actually going to want to wear. So here's my dual injector. This is my first one I've ever had. It's like the cheapest one you find on Amazon. Like, it's really, I want to get it. If you're looking to get one, I would not get this one. It's pretty ass. Yeah, I mean, this is like the cheapest one. I just wanted to get one to actually like get started and like practice dual injection and stuff like that like these work perfect for the crappie darts that's why like i actually put out a dual injection color in them but anything else no nah. no they don't hold enough plastic to really do any other baits and they're just not it they are just not it the quality is just not there i mean this was like a hundred bucks too so like it wasn't cheap by any means but like i said it's getting it done i guess for at least the crappie darts yeah usually i'll oil up my injections just with some worm oil not the best stuff I know, but it works. So yeah, here's a dual injector. Like I said, this thing like comes out for some reason. I don't understand like why. But that comes out and then you have this piece that you set on the mold and then go, this goes into it, dual injector. Then it comes out there, two colors at the same time. Like I said, it works. Definitely not the best though. Definitely need to upgrade soon because I plan on putting out, you know, actual dual injection colors of bigger baits. Whenever I do a dual injection, that's when I wear two gloves because I'm this stuff is freaking hot, boys. So but first, we gotta get some color in these things. So my mud minnow is white pearl. So one of them is gonna get just a few drops of white. 
just to kind of add that whiteness to it. And then it gets this stuff right here, the pearl sparkle. This stuff is a mess. Let me tell you, like, I gotta take a glove off for this. If you're not careful, this stuff will be everywhere. In between your toes, under your tongue. Like, it don't make sense. Gotta block the fan, too. But it's literally just a bunch of little sparkles or glitter, pearl, whatever. It makes a really, really cool color, though, so. so yeah, there it is. And it just makes that real, it's a pearl. It's not white, it's not like white with silver glitter it's just a pearl white super cool super dope color classic in the bass fishing world now but my mud minnows is the belly side of these uh, crappie darts is that white pearl and then the back side of it the top makes it up here is arkansas shiner this color is really really cool too nice steady slow pressure so you feel it build up and it stops hold it there for just a second kind of let that fill up push some air out pop it up oh yeah oh yeah boom see that's why i cannot wait to upgrade my dole injector because this it's a hard process but the baits this thing makes is worth it that color combo is insane so there's that white pearl show y'all a little bit better it might just look white to y'all but that sparkle that pearl in there adds for a lot of shine and a lot of shimmer underwater and then there's that arkansas shiner that has more of like a green natural color but also it has that shine in it so it sparkles underwater but yeah these baits i really really like these all right y'all these have sat long enough should be ready to go here we go mud minnow crappie darts so that's the back. Y'all can see that's the Arkansas Shiner. And then, peel that bad boy away. Show off that white belly. Oh yeah. There it is. That's that white belly with that Arkansas back. Absolute killer bait, bro. Love it. Love these. That's it. They're ready to go. Hang them up. Boom, those will be ready to ship out tomorrow to him. All right, that is it for the orders. Having one order is a complete blessing. Absolute insane that people will just want to buy my baits. Like, it's ridiculous. I, I will never get used to it. Whether I have one order, a hundred orders, a thousand orders, I will always be grateful for anybody that wants to buy my baits and support me. It's insane, bro. But now, we get to make some stuff for ourselves. I'm gonna throw this chameleon in the microwave, get it warmed up, ready to go. And we're going to do a run of the Kelly Bates Old Man. My favorite color in my favorite bait. Oh yeah. Those are good to go right there. Those will get fished a lot there's one color i'm gonna throw it's gonna be this chameleon now for these i just got them sitting over here on top of the tackle box letting them cure i like to set these out i don't like to hang these because like i've noticed the top ones when they're hanging get like a little bend like that in them and that's not good i want them to be completely straight so i like to set them out like that and again all these baits you're supposed to let them cure for about 24 hours but tomorrow morning they'll be good to go throw them in the box they shouldn't have any problems getting any kinks in them or anything so now i'm gonna do a quick little unboxing of these little booyah pond magic spinner baits now i'll be honest i kind of splurged when it came to the uh spinner baits usually i'm a one dollar spinner bait from walmart type of guy you feel me but this is a three pack for eight dollars boom so first off is this white one i actually had this same exact one tied onto a rod right now that i've had for like a year i've caught like one fish on it but <laughs> like i said i'm throwing spinner baits more that's why i bought these but there's that white and i'm pretty sure these are willow leaves or this is a willow leaf and this is a tennessee 
leaf. I'm not for sure. I'm not for sure. Like I said, I'm, I'm new. I'm new to the spinner bait game. All right. But there's that one. Then this one. This is the main reason why I bought this box. Is this chartreuse one with the orange blade and then the chartreuse blade, bro? I've seen a lot of people paint this middle blade right here orange it does something i don't know if it just gives like the fish a target to like attack or what but i've seen a lot of people switch this middle blade to like an orange blade or maybe even a red or something like that so i'm excited to throw this one i'm excited to try this one out that chartreuse killer i'm actually gonna do something a little funky it has that orange and that chartreuse i'm gonna try to make a trailer like a dual injection trailer of chartreuse and orange to go on this thing it's gonna look sick and then last but not least we have this little natural color looking one. This one has a golden blade. I don't know the difference in those. And then another silver blade down here. Can't go wrong with natural. Cannot go wrong. But yeah, there's the spinner baits now. We gotta make trailers for them. I think for the natural one, I'm just gonna go like a watermelon red. But like I said, we're gonna do chartreuse and orange dual injection for this one. That's gonna look sick. I don't know what I wanna do. Like I could just do a simple white, I guess. And use that pearl. Yeah, we might just do that. Just do some simple white. So yeah, that's enough talking. Let's get to make baits. Yeah, if those turned out, those should look pretty sick. All right, y'all, here we go. The first run, we did that chartreuse and orange dual injection. Let's see if it turned out. Oh, yeah. Oh. Dude. Those are sick. Yeah. Orange chartreuse, bro. Yeah, those are nice. I like that. Those are going to look insane on the back of that spinner bait. It's like a sunset color. That's dope. Yeah, just imagine that. That on the back of that. <laughs> That's going to look insane. So for the natural color spinner bait, we're actually just going to use the rest of the Arkansas Shiner. And then just a little, I had these little pucks. I think one is Arkansas Shiner and then this one is, it looks like baby bass. Pretty much the same colors. You know, it's just going to dark green natural color. And those should look pretty good on the back of that natural color spinner bait. All right guys, so for this spinner bait, since it has that little gold leaf on it, we're actually going to be adding some gold flake to the green color. Pretty much that Arkansas Shiner with a little bit of baby bass in there. Just a nice natural green color that we're gonna add some old flake to. And you know what? I think it also needs a little bit of purple. A little bit of purple. You can't go wrong adding a little bit of purple. Dude, that color's actually looking really good. Let's see how these turned out. Boom, there we go. Just a nice natural. I'm liking the gold. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I mean, just a nice natural looking color with that little bit of gold and purple in there. Give it a little bit of a shine. Oh yeah, I like that. Like I said, I was just gonna do some basic white trailer for this one, but I was looking at the spinner bait and as y'all see, it kind of has that little bit of red right there. And I want to try something, okay? I've never done this before. So it's going to be a little bit risky. I don't know how well it's going to work out, but I have some of this red left over. I was making red neds yesterday with it. I think we're going to use this and try to make, I don't want to do like a dual injection half white half red i think that's gonna be too much red but i want to make just like a red strip almost like a red bloodline like you would do in like swim baits or something i don't know how well it's gonna work out but we're gonna use this we're gonna try it out oh yeah boom so just some simple fruit punch blood red shorty swimmers but we're gonna take them i'm literally just gonna cut use this knife and like cut the belly off of these just a little sliver like I said, I've never tried to do something like this before, so we're just gonna do it a couple different ways on each of them. See which one we like better. All right, we got them in there. All right, and here we go. Going in with the white now. I don't know how well this is gonna turn out. So, like I said, we're just trying this. I've never done this before. Not super confident about it, but hey, however they turn out, they'll, they'll still fish. So, all right guys. So after about 20 minutes of hard work, we got them all complete. Went ahead and put the trailers on the spinner baits. And let me tell you, these are looking mint. So first off, let's start off with 
the natural spinner bait. This is what the trailers turned out to be. Just a nice natural looking Kelly bait shorty swimmer with some gold and some purple flake. Boom. That is good looking, bro. That matches like perfectly. That's gonna fish so well. Yeah, that looks really good. Like I said, these shorty swimmers, the absolute perfect trailer for spinner baits, chatter baits swim jigs whatever you're fishing and that color looks really really good it matches the head extremely well then the second one the one we did the dual injection with chartreuse and orange bro this is one of the sexiest baits i think i've ever seen here's how the tails turned out shorty swimmers beautiful and this is what it looks like on the spinner bait bro <laughs> that looks so sick. I mean, it don't, I don't think it gets any better than that right there. Yeah, that is good looking, bro. This one's definitely getting tied on. We're definitely fishing with this one as soon as possible. And now for the last one, the one we kind of experimented a little bit on. Don't love it. Don't love it at all. But hey, there's a little bit of red in there just the way I wanted. It doesn't look great. I don't think it's going to matter. I think that little bit of red, if anything, it's going to help the fish look at it and be like, hey, that fish is bleeding. Let's go eat that sucker. So I tried to experiment, do just like a little red strip on the belly. Here's what one of them turned out to look like. That white pearl, then that little bit of red. I mean, it looks like it's bleeding. It definitely does. It did the trick. And here's how it looks on the actual spinner bait. I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. Y'all can see it through the skirt a little bit, that little bit of red on the belly. I mean, fish are gonna look up, they're gonna see that, and they're gonna think, hey, that fish is bleeding. I like it, I do, I do. It didn't turn out the exact way I wanted, but I don't think it looks terrible at all. Oh, but all right guys, that is going to do it for today's video. We got some orders made, we got some personal stuff done, made some neds for the Ned box, got a couple trailers done for these spinner baits. Y'all let me know, do y'all wanna see like a whole video on all of the boxes that I'm making? Like I said, I'm doing just a bunch of my baits, so that way I have them to use this spring and this summer and stuff. Or if y'all just want more bait making vlogs, period, let me know by hitting that like button. We will definitely do some more. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. This is JT, and I'm out. Peace.